Hi, my name is Erin Anderson, and I'm an artist and musician. I've been teaching kids for 18 years. When I was a kid, I was always dilly-dallying. I was daydreaming and building things that I never thought of as art. I'm really excited to share with you this design that I came up with about five years ago. I was planning a party and I wanted to have something fun that people could take home. And this is what I came up with. We were putting them on the dog at the party. It was so much fun. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you some techniques of pattern making and paper mache. You're gonna learn the elements of a top hat and some different styles. We're gonna work with a hot glue gun. And finally, we're gonna finish and decorate for your signature look. Paper mache can be a very relaxing, meditative, fun, silly thing to do to pass the time. I'll get in the flow and hours will go by and I'll wonder what happened with my time, but then I'll have these beautiful hats that I can share with my family, kids, pets. They're so much fun. You can see here, I think I've got some dried mums that have been in the hat since Halloween. This was from a gift that someone wrapped for me, this little ribbon. A paper feather and a real feather. And some lacy ribbon is all stuff I had already in the house. And I think it works great for my head. I like to look at these hats as canvases. And then you get to make them personal by painting them or decorating them however you want. This is just white house paint, some acrylic primer that I mixed with a little bit of water. Let's say you have a cat that is patient enough to wear a hat, maybe just to take a picture. This one has, I think it's called raffia that I wrapped around there and a feather. And there's another feather that I made that, I made that feather out of leather, a piece of leather that I just cut. I painted a feather on the side of this hat. I think it worked out really well. And I found some old beads that I just restrung and wrapped around. I'm a big Jane Austen fan. So I wrote a quote from Jane Austen. I painted a face on the top and sort of a body here. So this is a project for kids ages 10 and up. Depending on fine motor skills, you might wanna help them out with the hot glue portion. That is section two. Everything else is, is paint and glue and scissors and paper. I'm so excited to share this with you and I can't wait to see the new designs that you guys come up with. Please use the hashtag Dilly Dallyings and you can follow me at Dilly Dallyings on Instagram.